Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wish You Luck back at it again with another YouTube video. In today's video, uh, I just want to respond to some allegations being made against me on Twitter. Uh, it seems that the Destiny cancel culture is coming yet again for another victim. Um, and there's just this like completely out of context clip that's cut to like 15 seconds and it just it doesn't provide any type of once again context to what was actually happening at the time that this clip was even clipped i don't know when this clip was clipped it wasn't recent um it had to have been like early last year <clears throat> but uh, basically i just wanted to provide my side of the story um because i can see that a lot of people are taking this opportunity to try to you know get me canceled and uh you know verify or justify their distaste for me which is fine I, you know i never i've never wanted people to particularly like me um i've always kind of done my own thing but i just wanted to provide context because i think context is important um for any clips or clip that you guys have seen um regarding me playing with a certain group of people so uh first and foremost i want to start or I, I kind of want to like take it back to where it all started. Um, so I was think it's like March of 2020 and I'm streaming uh, quick play and trust deal comes into my channel and trust deal is somebody that I used to play with in 2015. So six years ago, um, we used to do PS PS4 recovs or not recovs. Sorry, we used to do PS4 carries and trials, and people were familiar with Trust Deal. I remember him getting a warm welcome when he first came into my channel, um, and they were like, "Yo, how you been?" Like me and him caught up. We hadn't spoke for quite a while. Um, last time I played with him was when he was a really young kid, and uh, I don't know. He just kind of like I guess he like looked up to me in Destiny One, and I let him do carries with me, and he was actually pretty good. So I was like, all right, yeah, we can do carries together uh, whenever I have the chance. This is back in D1. So we're playing or whatever, and I remember he's like, yeah, I'm going to invite some of my friends. And I'm like, all right. So he invites um, Gopti and Timpa and Itachi, and we're all playing quick play together. Like, nothing's, nothing's uh, out of the ordinary. We're all just playing quick play like it's a good time. I'm pretty sure I was streaming this in March of 2020 on twitch um and yeah everything seemed really normal uh we I, I ended up getting banned in april of 2020 i think it was about i think it was april 6th on 2020 and uh because i got banned on twitch it meant that i couldn't do or i couldn't play with anybody on twitch so you know at the time my friends uh pervy and pups my best friends at the time Kirby was streaming quite a bit, I'm pretty sure, and uh, Pups wasn't playing video games. But I didn't really have anyone to turn to in regards to who I could play with to do carries. I just kind of had these guys that was I was just introduced to. I've known for a few weeks. Uh, Trusty, I had known for about six years, so I kind of trusted him more than I should have. And then uh, the other guys I had briefly known, but they seemed normal. Like there was nothing abnormal to these guys at all. Uh, we played against streamers. We matched against people in quick play in my stream on Twitch. No one ever came to me like, yo, these guys are weird. Um, no one ever said like, yo, I think these guys are cheating. Like it, it, it was as normal as can be. It's like meeting someone on LFG and you're playing quick play with them and nothing's wrong with it. Um, so now I start getting into doing recovs. Let's just fast forward into trials. I start doing recovs and um, initially I was doing carries. Uh, but you kind of needed to do recovs in Destiny because one, everybody else was, and two, the cheater problem was so bad that it was kind of like impossible to do carries. Um, so I start getting into recovs, and I'm doing my recovs, and they're doing their recovs, and you know, the, there's an odd number of people in this group. There's five people in the group, so it's not like we could have a group of each other every single time. I just kind of always had it was it was it felt like it was always either me trusty and gopti or uh me timpa and gopti and um you know they're doing their recovs i'm doing my recovs everything's fine nothing's weird once again we play against streamers we match people uh nobody ever says anything like hey i think these guys are cheating no one ever comes to me and approaches me like hey i think these guys are cheating so i don't think anything of it you know i'm playing with these guys for a few months now and no one said anything so i'm not 
thinking anything. Like, you know, I'm if I die on death cam and I watch them, I don't see anything suspicious. So I'm just kind of doing my thing. And this is all like, I'm sure if you dig far back into my streams, you can probably find me playing with them, playing against streamers. No one coming into my channel saying anything. You can look at the chat logs. Uh, everything I'm saying here is on YouTube or uh, Twitch. If Twitch didn't delete the vods, I think they deleted the vods though. Um, so. We fast forward a few months and recovs start to slow down. Like everybody's had their guns already. The season's starting to play out. No one's really buying recovs, uh, except I'm getting them because I just have a substantial size. I have a, a an influence in the recov market. <clears throat> so I'm getting recovs, and uh, it doesn't seem like Trusty or Timpa care. Um, like they they don't mind playing with me on their mains while I do my recovs. And I'm giving them recovs here and there, you know, I'm, I'm, if I have too many to do and Trusty and Tempo don't have any, I'm like, yo, can you guys like get on these and play with me? Whatever. That's, that's completely normal. Once again, no complaints. Uh, no, no one's accounts have ever been banned by uh, Trusty or Tempo playing on them. Um, nothing, nothing of that nature. You know what I mean? Like nothing's fishy still. <clears throat> so I'm giving Trustio and uh, Timpa recovs here and there because they just don't seem to care about having any. <clears throat> and this doesn't go over well with Itachi. Now, mind you, I, I, I don't really have a relationship at this time with Itachi. It's just kind of like what we played in Quick Play. Um, but that's about it. He's just kind of somebody on my friends list. <laughs> So I ignore it. Itachi doesn't like it. Uh, he's vocal about not liking it. And then we don't speak for a few days. And uh, or about it was about a week we didn't speak, and and then shit starts getting really weird. Um, I start getting phone calls from my daughter's school about if I'm gonna pick her up or if I authorize someone to pick her up. <clears throat> my daughter being Penelope, and my wife starts getting phone calls uh, from my daughter's school, and we're getting phone calls from my children's doctor as well, my pediatrician, uh, about whether our kids are okay and if we want to schedule an appointment uh, because of what happened. And we're just like, well, what do, you, what do you mean what happened? Like, we don't really know what you're referencing. <clears throat> so things are a little weird. Uh, things get, get really weird, actually. And so I go to my daughter's school and I go to my daughter's pediatrician and they explained to me uh, that they've been getting phone calls from a phone number that they can't call back. So whatever the phone call was, whatever the phone number was that was popping up on their, um, I forget what it's called, their caller ID. It's not call back, like they, they can't call back. They can't just press star six nine and call it back. So I tell them, uh, ignore any phone calls you guys get that aren't from my phone number or my, or my wife's cell phone number. Um, really weird like really weird stuff uh then i get a dm from itachi i know it's itachi um but it's his burner he sends me a dm on his burner and he's he says like this weird shit's not gonna stop my man and so i didn't tell itachi anything regarding weird shit happening like i hadn't spoken to anyone regarding weird shit happening i had just like gotten home and checked my dms <clears throat> and uh, so putting two and two together, you know, you figure out it's Itachi that's probably doing it or someone Itachi knows, but probably Itachi. And he tells me that if I like my safety and my children's safely, uh, safety, that I'm going to be giving him work. That's what he calls it. You're going to be giving me work, my man. That's what he says. <laughs> and uh, I tell Trusty Otempa and Gopti what's going on. I explained to them, like, yo, this shit's mad weird. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, what's going on? And they're all kind of just like, yeah, we we kind of knew this was going to happen. And uh, we kind of want bread, too. Like, it doesn't feel like it's cool for you to just be making bread. And it's weird to me because, like, I'm giving I'm giving Trusty on Tempo money already, right? Like, I'm letting them do my recovs with me. And if they, if they really want to do recovs, I'll give them an account to do it on while I'm there. Um... And I guess they wanted a bigger cut. I guess what was pissing them off was that I wasn't giving them a big enough cut. Um, so I'm trying to figure out after I like I, I leave the discord and I, I leave the phone call and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Like, how do I get out of this? Because like I'm banned on Twitch. I can't go to anyone on Twitch. I'm blocked by community managers. I can't DM anybody. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Right. So I end up blocking them all. 
Um, I blocked every single one of them. And I blocked them on Twitter. I blocked them on Instagram. I blocked them on Discord. I blocked them on Snapchat. I blocked them on Twitter. I blocked them all. A few days later, my daughter's school gets swatted. Now, this is when shit is like, I'm fucking scared. You know what I mean? Because I've, I've dealt with swatting before. Um, my dad's place got swatted when I was first started streaming watchdogs. My dad's house got swatted and it shit isn't cool. Like my dad literally almost got shot. Um, so my daughter's school gets swatted. These kids, uh, like, they don't <laughs> like, they have no fucking boundaries. Um, I start getting messages from them on burners. They're they're on Discord burners, they're on Twitter burners, and they're like, "Yo, just be cool, man. Like, just go along. Like, shit won't be that bad. Like, trust me. Like, just be cool. It'll stop. It'll stop. You know what I mean? Like, just just go along with it. Wish now. You have to remember, I don't really have anyone. Uh, I don't have anyone to turn to. The last time I got swatted and I went to the police, they filed a police report. It was bullshit. Nothing happened. Right? The guy was able to just continue doing whatever he wanted to do, living his own life." So I have to go along with it. I have to just play like these guys are my friends and that um, like we're all cool and shit's shit's just fucking awful for me. Like there's nothing I can do from there. And if you remember my tweets back back in like m late 2020 or mid late 2020, that's when I was telling you guys that, you know, I'm mentally going through a, a lot of shit and, you know, I'm starting therapy and I, need, I just need help. Like, I, I posted about it on Twitter, but it was kind of cryptic. I, I never really told you guys uh, exactly what was going on just for the safety of my kid, you know, for the safety of my, my family and my children. So um, I give them recubs, but it's not recubs that, like, people are buying from me. It's recubs. So I had, like, I had this Sherpa Discord, right? And it was a huge Discord, um, decent sized Discord, I should say. It was full of console kids, and um, basically in that Sherpa Discord, if anybody had too many recubs to do, uh, you would just kind of pass along the recubs, like you would just give them to whoever. Um, and you know, I did that with some console kids. I, I let some console guys do my uh, do my recubs on PlayStation or Xbox, and they would post theirs. And so. Um, well, not post, I should say. They would DM me theirs because I give them mine and they give me theirs, you know, depending on if you need any runs. So I started telling them, like, just just give me, you know, whatever recubs you guys can give me. Like, just please, like, if, if you guys don't want to do any recubs on a given weekend, that's fine. Just just give me them. Like, I, I kind of need them right now. Um, so they give me them and I'm just throwing them to the group. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just throwing them to the group like they work for websites and these websites don't give a fuck about who's doing the recub these websites don't give a fuck about if you're cheating on the recubs or whatnot all right so in my brain I'm just like all right just give this to the group and they'll shut the fuck up right um so I gave them all the runs that I could uh filled up their their, ch their pocketbooks uh I would do my recubs at this at this point I'm doing my recubs with pervy and pups because I pretty much begged them uh I, I begged pervy to kind of like give me some of his time because i know the guy he was busy he's dealing with school and shit so i'm begging pervy to like give me some time and do some recos with me and he's he, you know pervy's my best friend so pervy's not gonna leave me high and dry uh so we're doing recuffs together and i beg pups to come back i'm like pups please like like pups at this point was like working a full-time job and i'm like pups like you I, i'll promise you like i'll pay you just as not uh just as much as your job is making you like you don't have to worry about the money um i got you and i'm you know doing as many as i can with pervy and pups um and giving these kids in the discord just fucking website recubs that you know aren't really even booked through me i'm just giving them runs uh just to appease them and i knew the end point i knew the end goal i wanted to um switch our phone numbers i wanted to uh switch our pediatrician and i wanted to switch my daughter's school Ultimately, because if they already have that information, like, I, I don't want them being able to leverage it any further on top of me. Um, I, I'm not sure how Itachi went about getting this information. Uh, it seems like Itachi 
just knows the ropes, I should say. Um, I'm pretty sure he's like, uh, he goes to school for like cybersecurity or something. So the guy knows what he's doing. Like, he knows how to find people's information out. He's not in the USA, so he's not under any jurisdiction. And it's the same story that I had when I dealt, dealt with my first uh, swatter. His name was Skull King. And he just did whatever the fuck he want and he wa or he wanted and the reason why he did it was because he didn't live in the US so he had nothing to worry about um so we switch my phone we switch my pediatrician we are my daughter's pediatrician we switched my daughter's school we took her out of the school she was current uh, in at the time and I blocked them off and I got some messages like yo man you don't want to do this like we'll fucking expose you and I'm just like you know, I, I, at that point, like, this was the only thing I could see was that my daughter's safe, so they can't leverage that over me anymore. Um, and we've spoken to the new school about shit that's happened, and it was actually really hard to get her into the school. Um, but her information is going to be kept, like, under locks. It's not going to be digitally put into the computer. Her, her information is only going to be paper. So the school can still track her and whatnot and keep records on her. But... Um, you know, I guess things can't be looked up or whatnot. It's kind of like what the what we ultimately came up with. Um, luckily, this school was the same school. I, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that for my safety. But, yeah, we were able to pull some strings and, and set my daughter up to be able to go to school this year um, before we move again. Um, but I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure with me finally coming clean about all this, uh, there's going to be some bullshit to come along with it. Um you know when i was in the position that i was in i was extremely vulnerable uh i didn't really have many options just if you were in my pers if you were in my pers pers uh, p position then uh you know it, it just kind of sucked there was nothing i could really do um also i was these guys would like fucking tell me like you know say this or or say that wish and i'm you know it's weird to me that i'm saying it but I'm just kind of going along with it for the safety of, you know, my family. Um, so they've been, they, you know, they were blackmailing me for a long time. Um, so I'm sure there's a lot of out of context stuff and I'm not going to sit here and try to explain every single clip or every single this or that um, regarding these guys. It's just impossible for me to do so. Uh, just so much, only so much context I can give you. But uh, the recubs that I've ever received, the recubs that you guys have ever booked through me, I've only done with me, Pervy and Pups. Um, we did some on Steam. We've done some on console. Uh, it's taken us, at times, five hours to finish a card, and that's okay. Uh, that's something that I was willing to, you know, to, to go through to get your guys' accounts done um, safety-free. And, you know, none of my recubs have ever been banned, so I feel like that should speak, uh, that should speak measures as to what was going on during this time. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry if you guys feel like I've let you down. Um, but I just wanted to provide some context for Destiny Cancel Culture. Who, you know, aren't going to even probably watch this video. They probably won't even care for it. Because uh, in Destiny, or not even in Destiny, just on the internet. Uh, when people's minds are made up. You know, it doesn't really matter what perspective or what context you provide to that situation. Uh, it's just really hard to change that. But I just wanted to let you guys hear my story and hear my truth. And let you go about making your own decision. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, there's nothing else I can say. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry if I've let any of you guys down. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.